a uh, shed update and uh, I actually bought a shop vac shop air uh, basically a little uh, cooling fan if you will this thing puts out a lot of a uh, air and I thought that was a uh, a unique find and I was gonna do a uh, I was thinking about an air conditioner but I'd have to uh, actually cut a hole in the door and I don't know I may I thought about it but uh, for right now that actually works out with the additional of the uh, mini fans in here uh, because I don't stay out here too long I mean I sometimes I can stay out here and you know I don't even know what time it is but anyway I want to turn it off just in case the sound because we're having technical difficulties with Mr. Uh, microphone, but anyway, we'll try to get that uh, squared away. Where did Mr. Water go? There it is. Uh, before the uh, uh, adding kits to the art, um, not a whole lot, but I wanted to. Uh, I like to show uh, little by little instead of doing like one big, you know, uh, wad. Uh, first up is the. Uh, Ultraman Ultra Hawk and the hobby store that I go to uh, he gets them in uh, occasionally and this is number 10 as you can see I started at number uh, 5 I got 5 6 7 8 notice there ain't no 9 unless I got 9 somewhere buried in here which I don't think I have but anyway I've been trying to pick up all the uh, Ultramans he only gets one in I'm basically just telling him put my name on it because I want the whole set. I'm going to have to uh, try to probably go online try to find out uh, one and two. But anyway, that's uh, Ultraman stuff's pretty darn slick. I mean, it's just a unique uh, design. And it's one of them, I call them uh, little mini kits. Uh, because, you know, Star Blazers got them. Uh, you know, even Robotech here. It's just, uh, I think they're, and they're cheap too. And that's, I think they're just exquisite kits from Bandai. But adding the uh, Ultra Hawk. Uh, to the art and then today I went to a uh, garage sale and he actually had a bunch of kits for sale and uh, Some of my passed on uh, others. I did buy to resell and some I bought to keep and uh, a couple that I'm going to keep for a while Two I'm keeping for sure is a uh, weapon set here. This is the old Tamiya kit. Uh, I really find uh, I know it's uh, what, World War two maybe even Korean uh, but you know it's none of it's uh, useless it's all very usable you can even kit bash it and make some other weapon and all that good stuff anyway I can never have enough weapons especially you get two sprues of the same kit so anyway that was uh, cheap pick that up uh, second was the uh, allied uh, storage now uh, honestly you can never have enough storage resin or plastic uh, this is one of my not my two favorite kits because you get more uh, you get more jerry cans then you do actual stowage that goes on the vehicle now it's not like uh, an armor one for like tanks but anyway this stuff's all usable uh, even the drums you know it's just it's just one of those I think uh, I like the kits where you get more of the uh, stowage stowage for the uh, actual tanks because that's just uh, but anyway I mean uh, this is allied so whatever year it is you know uh, World War two can be used for you know modern uh, not even modern uh, uh, I want to say you know a foreign country uh, you know Iran Iraq you know they probably use some of that stuff too it's just all, all usable but anyway adding some allied uh, accessory set to the art uh, the USS Lionfish. Now, uh, this is an old Revell kit. It's probably the same. I don't know if it's the same name or, you know. Anyway, I don't think I have one. And, uh, nope. And I probably don't have one uh, in an older box, which I'd like to have. This one, I think it's from the 80s or maybe 90s. But anyway, it's still sealed. And I wanted this because uh, uh, I don't remember exactly. Uh, this is what, supposed to be a Gato, probably. Uh... I wanted one for the batfish that's here in, uh, they got it, uh, a history, uh, memorial, uh, sub here and, uh, in the state. And I wanted one just kind of basically to kind of have it. So the USS lionfish is going to be the USS batfish. You know, it's kind of a, uh, two in one there. But anyway, very unique kit, old kit, you know, probably has its flaws. But anyway, I like stuff like this. So anyway, not a real big fan of the, uh, box art, uh, 
you know, I don't like the, I don't like the completed model, like the, uh, well, even like Tamiya, like the uh, painted version. And of course, we know we like uh, painted box art, which thinks looks much more cooler. But anyway, we're adding the uh, lionfish to the art. And, uh, well, let me move this here. Um, I've been one, I've been one one for a long time, and it's not the kit itself. I wanted a model kit from the company called Adams. Adams was like a uh, model company in the late 50s. It only, I don't hold me to it, but it only lasted like maybe like two years. So they made all these molds for kits. Then they sold all the molds and kits because you can get these kits uh, cheap and uh, anywhere you want because Ravel. Uh, did this exact same kit. This is a 1 40th scale uh, howitzer, and this kit's incomplete. It's missing the, uh, I'll if I can do it one hand here, it's missing the uh, sandbags, but the howitzer's there, the figures are there. It's the old Revell kit if you ever really looked at it. I know a lot of us have already built one of these. It's missing the instructions, but it had the decals, but uh, it's very rare to find. Uh, you know, it's kit cheap and with the Adams box. And where did I see it at? Uh, nope. Uh, Pyrite 1958. So, uh, anyway, I w this is one of those. Uh, since I did in the arc here, I wanted uh, certain, uh, you know, kits from certain companies. And this is one of them. And I don't have my damn pad with me. But anyway, there's an. Uh, Adam's kit of around the world in 80 days. It's a balloon kit, and I probably buried it. Uh, nope. Did I? Yep. Who knows where that's at? Anyway, it's a uh, it's uh, the Intrepid balloon, which is the same kit that Adam's produced for the around the world in 80 days. However, I'll try to dig one up or a picture and show everyone that. But anyway, that's a that's a unique find. I thought the box is pretty in decent shape. And uh, I actually now own a uh, something from Adams, which is almost uh, almost just impossible to find. But anyway, I thought that was a nice little history uh, thing where they were basically uh, prevalent in the late 50s. And then uh, when the 60s started, they uh, sold all their molds and uh, all the other companies took off with their other stuff. Because you've seen these kits before. Just a very unique... Uh, unique piece of history but anyway that's a uh, quick shed update for today we are adding uh, uh, more to my uh, guns and accessories which you know I uh, probably need to restack the to my uh, accessory uh, set over here because I probably got it I was even see it right there too but anyway uh, add more of those and some uh, accessories and uh, adding the uh, lionfish, which I still I still got boats in that stack pile there, which I need to find a new place to put them to. Hopefully we can get the other section built. Was my game plan? If it don't cost me an arm and a leg, but anyway, we'll uh, uh, we'll be doing that. And uh, adding the uh, ultra hawk, and adding a little bit of piece of history, the uh, Adams 105 howitzer to the art. So that's what I've got going on today, so stay tuned for the next exciting episode.